Welcome to the Billion Gray's Help video series. This video is to help you find a cemetery nearby where you can take photos with the mobile applications. We will look for cemeteries that have no photos, as well as look at cemeteries that have some pictures but may have headstones still available to be documented. First, start by logging in to your Billion Graves account from our homepage. You will be taken to your dashboard, which will show you an overview of the current contributions as well as other helpful links. On this page, we want to make sure that your location is correct. Your location can sometimes be incorrect because we estimate your location based on your internet service provider's location. Having your correct location will affect photo requests, notifications, BG Plus features, and the starting locations for other maps. In the top card next to your profile picture, you will see My Location, along with the city, state, and country. If the location is not correct, don't worry, it's very easy to update. First, click on the city. In this case, click on Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, United States. This will take you to your profile settings page. Scroll down to My Location, where you will see a map and a yellow pin identifying your current location. Grab the yellow pin and move it to your exact location, or you can type in the city and state in the text field above the map. Then refine your location in larger cities by moving the pin. In this case, we'll update our location from Philadelphia to Collingswood, New Jersey, just across the river. Once you have updated your location, click on Save Location below the map. You can update this information at any time. So if you're traveling and would like this updated information, you can come back here at any time. With your location updated, you are now ready to look for cemeteries. In the top menu, hover over Research, which will open up several features. Click on Cemetery Map in the left column. This will take you to an interactive map of all the cemeteries on Billion Graves. More importantly, the cemeteries that are located near your current updated location. You will see lots of different colored pins, each one representing a different cemetery. Each color indicates how many photos have been taken in each cemetery. There's a legend at the bottom of the screen that will help you learn more about each pin. Use the tools on the map to zoom in closer on your current location. In this example, there are several cemeteries nearby, all with different colors. If you want to find a cemetery that has no images uploaded, look for the blue pins. In this example, the closest cemetery that has no images is this cemetery, the Old Camden Cemetery in Camden, New Jersey. Click on the blue pin, which will display the cemetery name and direct link to the cemetery on Billion Graves. Notice, at the top of this page, there are zero records in this cemetery. Some cemeteries will have additional information, including phone numbers or website URLs that will provide you with more information on the cemetery. You will find this right below the cemetery address. On the left side of the screen, click on tab 4, Cemetery Map, or scroll down until you get to the Cemetery Maps section. You can do this by using the tools on the map to zoom in on the cemetery. In most cemeteries, you can zoom in and see the actual headstones. As you can see, there are a lot of headstones in this cemetery. This is a great cemetery to go take pictures in. Let's navigate back to the Cemetery Map from the Research menu at the top of the page. Again, you will see the multicolored pins on the map. In this example, we will look at the closest cemetery to my location in Collingswood, the purple pin, called Calvary Cemetery. This cemetery has over 7,000 images, so a lot of work has already taken place. Although this has a lot of images, let's check to see if the cemetery still has work that needs to be done. Click on the purple pin and then the name of the cemetery to take you to the cemetery page. Notice that the image and record count for the cemetery, but also note the additional description provided by the volunteer to help others find it easier. Again, not all cemeteries will have this information. If you know any information that may help researchers or other photographers, feel free to add this by clicking on the pencil icon at the top of the page. Now, let's go down to the cemetery map. Just like last time, click on the cemetery map on the left side of the screen or scroll down to the map. You will start to see thousands of pins start to populate on the screen. Each pin represents a picture of a headstone. 
As we move around the cemetery, look how we can see sections that are densely populated and areas that have no pins. The empty areas are sections where you can take photos to help complete the cemetery. Again, use the tools on the map to zoom in and make sure that there are actual headstones in that area to take pictures. Some sections of the cemetery might not have pins, but no headstones. This is where the cemetery will add burials in the future. In some of the large cemeteries, there will be so many pins that they begin to cluster. You can click on the Show Clusters icon at the top of the map, or you can click on each cluster to show each individual pin. In this case, there is a lot left to do before the cemetery is done. Take note of which areas are empty, so when you arrive at the cemetery, you know where you can start. Use the mobile app when you're actually in the cemetery to assist you in knowing where to start. You can pull the cemetery map up in the application, which will show you all the pins, allowing you to be able to walk right to the empty sections and start taking pictures. Note that this one section has been partially completed. We encourage users to try not to take duplicate photos. However, in cases like this, it can be difficult to tell where the previous user stopped taking photos. In these cases, err on the side of taking more pictures than less to make sure that all graves are photographed in the cemetery. Our systems and transcribers can help manage any duplicate images. We don't recommend taking photos of this entire section, perhaps just a row or two to ensure proper coverage. Another tip that you can use in the cemetery is to go to the first headstone in a row and search the name of that gravestone on the app. If it is in the application, that row has most likely been completed. Continue this process until you reach a row with a grave that is not in the search results. Remember, once you have taken photos, immediately upload them when you get home and are connected to a Wi-Fi. This will save you from using data and ensure that other volunteers see the work that you have done so that they don't duplicate the photos that you just took. Using these simple tools, you'll be able to identify cemeteries near you that still need to be photographed. Thank you for taking photos for Billion Graves and help preserving these vital records for generations. For any questions, join us in the Billion Graves community where volunteers like yourself can come, ask questions, and engage with other volunteers around the world.